Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A24 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now, that being said, I'll add that this process also allows you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. Maybe your child set up a screen lock uh, by just mistake and you lost access to your device. Uh, this will basically help you get rid of it. Now, unfortunately, the downside is it also gets rid of everything else. Uh, so, something to keep in, in mind. And in addition to even that, there is one more caveat, which is that when your device is logged into Samsung account or Google account, it will become FRP locked. And just to explain what that is, it's a lock similar to iCloud. When the reset is finished and you're going through the setup, you will need to verify either the previously utilized screen lock or the Google or Samsung account that was logged in on the device. Now, if the device had a Samsung account logged in and Google account, uh, it will automatically opt uh, to Samsung but if it had one or the other, obviously it's going to pick one of those, which was logged in. And uh, if you don't know either of those, you kind of lose access to your device because you can never finish up the setup without providing either the screen lock or the account. Now, I also want to add that I would typically be recording bypasses for this, but number one, Samsung is a little bit more annoying when it comes down to this uh, in general. So there might be a little bit of an iffiness if you're looking for such a thing and number two i'm at least at the moment i don't have any bypass for this specific phone so you could try if you really need that uh, to look up some other bypasses for older devices but don't go too far back so maybe like whenever this was released or whatever it's running right now the newest uh, security update just look for some newest bypasses that were done for samsung they will be usually about the same um so when for instance one samsung it could be for instance the s23 ultra as an example uh even though this is a cheaper device than the s23 ultra if it has the same uh security patch which they usually do they come out for all the samsung devices then the bypass should probably work as well on this device as well uh, as on the other one that you might be checking out the video for so just giving you a little bit of an info for people that might be interested in in this later on. Now, to get started with the bypass, we will need to turn off our device and Samsung is annoying about this. So if you try to turn it off, uh, which we do need to hold, I think it's power button volume up. Oh. Which one is it? Yep, so it's power button volume down. If you try to turn it off, it gives you this stupid pop up. Now, the reason I consider this to be absolutely idiotic is because we can still uh, turn off the device or reboot it by just holding these two buttons together for a longer time which forcibly reboots the device and allows us to access recovery mode anyway. Now uh, additional thing that we'll need is a cable that is plugged into your computer. This will be needed so we can actually boot the device into recovery mode. So the way this is going to go right now is uh, once you start holding power button volume down I recommend interacting with the display just so it doesn't time out because when it times out obviously it goes black which is also the same thing that happens when obviously the uh, reboot of the device starts happening. So you do want to interact with the display uh, just so you know when, when it turns off, you know that the device turned off, not just the screen. And once that happens, you will then right away plug in the cable and switch from volume down to volume up. So let's do it right now. So holding both of the buttons should turn off in a second. There we go. Power button, volume up. Instead of volume down. It's plugged in. Shows up with Samsung, then Galaxy. Once you see the Galaxy, you can let go of both of those buttons. And this will then take you to the recovery mode. Now, once in this mode, we can unplug the device. It was only needed to get us into this. And in here, using volume buttons to navigate, you want to scroll down and select wipe data factory reset. Once it's selected, Confirm it using your power button and select the second option, which for some reason became uh, Spanish instead of English, but whatever. There's a second option. Again, confirm it. 
it's gonna give you that it's formatting data and then the last entry is data wipe complete at which point reboot system now will be selected by default so all you need to do is press your power button once again to initiate or set reboot and simply wait for the process to finish up once it has we will be presented with android setup screen so i'll be back once that is visible for me And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.